can you please unmute yourself and speak? Can anyone speak, please? Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Thank you very much. Uh, we are going to start now. My name is Abiola, and I want to say welcome, everyone. Welcome, students. Welcome, teachers. Welcome, parents. Welcome, authority figures who have a number of students under them that they would like to pass this knowledge to. Uh, I want to say that uh, I'm very happy to have you present here today. Uh, this is my class, and this is a soft skills master class for students. And uh, I'll start by introducing myself. My name is Abiela Sunday Awoki AC. I am a soft skill instructor, and I've been here to these since uh, 2019. I've been privileged to speak in a number of schools, and I've been privileged to speak to over 2,000 students uh, in this uh, career of mine. Uh, my class is a self-development company that is focused on soft skills development. You can find us at myclass.com, at Facebook, at LinkedIn, YouTube, and the likes, and we also registered with uh, CAC. Soft skills for students. It is a program that you have possibly seen in our flyers. It's a program that will be coming up Fridays and Saturday evening. Uh, except on special holidays, which will be uh, if, which will be related to us, and we'll be using Zoom because we believe that there are not just one means of effective communication. There is the audio, there is the visual communication, there is also the video communication and other forms of communication that hits learning and uh, effective understanding. So that's why we are not just using audio, that's why we are not using WhatsApp. So we are using audio as you are listening to me now. We're also using PowerPoint presentation to so ensure that students you know, get the best from uh, this platform. Students will be required to do assignments to be submitted on Facebook at my class. And the uh, best performing students will actually get gifts from us to be delivered to them. Uh, but terms and conditions apply. At the end of this course, we expect students to know what soft skill is, to uh, understand the difference between soft skills and hard skills, to know the importance of soft skills, to understand the facts of soft skills and the kinds of soft skills. Introduction to soft skills. We all know the man Isaac Newton is a person who developed the theory of gravity. And uh, Isaac Newton is a world renowned scientist. What actually made Isaac Newton come up with the law of gravity? There are three visual things that made Isaac Newton come up with the law of gravity. We all understand that law of gravity states that whatever goes up, we actually come down. So there are three things that visible things that made Isaac Newton come up with the law of gravity. Number one is number two, a fruit, apple fruit in particular. Number three is the fall of the fruit from the tree. These three things, these three things, many of us has actually, you know, experienced. We have of experience and uh, a mango tree, a mango seed rather, or a mango fruit fall from a mango tree. And uh, but there is something very important that meet as it meets him, really develop the law of gravitation. So there are two visible things that inspired Isaac Newton to develop the law of gravitation. Number one is critical thinking. The number two is the mathematical knowledge. The, mathemat the mathematical knowledge is the hard skill. What critical thinking is a soft skill. And you will agree with me that many have experienced a 
fruits fall from a tree. But because of lack of critical thinking, deep thinking skills, you know, even when the mathematical knowledge is there, a lot of people don't actually, you know, uh, come up with laws like this. So that is why soft skills is very, very important. You would also agree with me if you look at a man on the screen whose name is Ben Kassin. Ben Kassin is a world renowned neuroscientist, neurosurgeon. When Ben Kassin was in his teen age, he went to a very good school. He had great teachers, materials were provided, and other hard skills that were needed for him to do well academically. But Ben Kassin didn't do well academically, not until he learned about motivation, time management, discipline, and individuals like teachers, his mother, you know, his part in to develop reading culture. These are the little things that count, that inspired and brought out the best in Bekassin. It was not just the exposure to hard skills, but much more importantly, soft skills. So what is soft skills? Soft skills are a set of skills that help the person relate well with him or herself. It is often said that the most important relationship is the relationship that we have with ourselves. It is also called the intrapersonal relationship. It has to do with how you think, how you reason, how you see yourself, your self-esteem, your understanding of yourself, your self-awareness, your understanding of the extent you can go about things in life how you are able to resolve the problems that you encounter in life. So these are the relationships that you have with yourself, that students can also have with themselves. So it says that how we relate with ourselves. And the other part of this definition is how students, individuals relate with others, the interpersonal relationship. And the last one is that how we relate with the world around us. The story of two Nike staff that were sent to ancient India. The Nike staff uh, was sent to India. You know, Nike is a company that produces shoes. It is actually a mythological story. It is not a true story. But the message in the story is very, very important. So they were sent to ancient India to see if their business would prosper in India. And then when these Nike staff got to India, they observed that something that was not the case in the country that they were coming from was happening where they were. And one of the staff said, oh, there is no business here because the people here don't wear shoes. The other person said, oh, there is business here because the people here don't wear shoes. So you will see that the difference between the approach of these two Nike staff to what they saw is dependent on their view, their individual understanding about the world around them. What is soft skills? The second definition I'll be looking at is that soft skills are set of skills, behaviors, and personal characteristics that allow people to relate well with others, perform given tasks well, that allow people to relate well with others. We have talked about that in the last definition. And the second part of this definition says that Soft skills allow people to relate well with others. That's the first. Then perform given tasks well. 
one of the reasons why we lag behind and we do not do tax well is because of lack of effective time management. So, which is an example or a kind of soft skills that enable students, enable employed people, enable teenage person to do well in their endeavors. So soft skills enable individuals to perform given tasks well. When you talk about creativity, when you talk about innovation, when you talk about self-motivation, which is very, very important in you know, getting things done in life. And the last part of this definition is that to achieve their goals. Life is full of challenges. Someone says that you are either in a problem or you just got out of the problem or you are about to get into a problem. So, but when one are a well or a good understanding of soft skill, a person will understand that in a bid to achieve his or her goals, he or she is going to encounter or face problems, challenges. Because of the lack of soft skills, many have, you know, assaulted to suicide, depression, like uh, what the organization said, that in the year 2030, depression is going to be the leading cause of this. The second aspect that we'll be looking at today is what are the different what are differences between soft skills and hard skills? Number one is soft skills is majorly acquired out of schools. But a number of schools are introducing soft skills into their curriculum today. While hard skills is majorly acquired in schools, very few schools have soft skills in their curriculum. Hard skills is not always needed. For example, if you are running a tech company, you don't need a farmer, you know, in your company. You don't possibly need someone who have a tech skills or someone who have a skills, a hard skills that would not profit your company in any way. But when you are talking about soft skills, it is always needed in company, in family, in schools, in a religious sector, soft skills is very, very important. For example, self-motivation. Tony Robbins says that motivation is everything. Emotion is everything. Whatever you want to do, if you are less motivated or you are not motivated at all, at all that thing wouldn't be you know, done. So soft skills is always needed. To read your book for examination, soft skills is needed. To develop affection for your goal, your vision, motivation is needed. So hard skills is about aptitude, about your capacity, your ability, your strengths, and so on. But soft skills about attitude, much more importantly, about your attitude, your character, your behavior. Also, soft skills is, it takes time to learn, but hard skills, hard skills uh, you know, can easily be learned. Hard skills can be measured. Two plus two is always two. Four times four, two plus two rather, is always four. Four times four, we always give you 16, and so on. But soft skills is very hard. To measure. What learns soft skills? Number one is that it is like what someone says that capacity, which is your hard skill, is needed to you know get a job. But soft skills will help you to sustain that job. It will help you to grow when you get a job. So as a student, if your dream is to become a lawyer, for you to grow as a professional lawyer, you will need something like empathy, which is a soft skill. 
you need to go, go beyond sympathy to being empath to be empathetic about you know, your clients. If you are a, someone who is a program developer, you will need endurance, you will need creativity if you're a graphic designer. So to grow in your career, in your life and your body, for career growth, soft skill is very, very important. Soft skill will also help a student and help the also a young person develop self-esteem. I've been to a school where the student said that she has a problem and her problem is that she just lacked the ability to express herself, that she is always silent whenever she's asked to answer a question. So thereby she asked that she was, if she wasn't sure if she you know, was suffering from low self-esteem or some kind of social psychological challenge. So SOFQ will help you to boost your self-esteem. It will you know, take you out of your shell. SOFQ strengthens relationship. Uh, one of the best ways to attract the best kind of friends is when you have soft skills, when you are empathetic, when you have interpersonal and intrapersonal skills, when you, you know, have the ability to relate well with people. Soft skills is very, very important. So it also promotes good reputation. You've been known for good things. You'll be well known. You'll be known for positive, positive things. So it's, for example, as a woman in Nigeria, the former uh, chairman of NAVDAC, this woman got the NAVDAC uh, occupation based on a record, a good reputation which she had in her previous job. So she got the appointment of the NAVDAC chairperson because the good reputation that she developed in her previous occupation. So, so motivation. And lastly, it helps you to live fully, freely, and lively. Why do soft skills matter? Facts of soft skills. Number one is that if you look at the screen, you discover that 61% of managers believe that soft skills are the most important kind of skill that is needed to do well in the company. 44% of employers choose soft skills as a biggest gap in the US workforce. 85% of job success comes from having well-developed soft skills. And only 15% of job success comes from technical skills. And this is a result from reality works. So to do well in a job, to do well in school, to do academically, you know, 15% of it comes from the hard skills, the technical skills, the, 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 the lecture, the notes and everything. But if students lack time management, if student is not well motivated, if students, you know, lacks the ability to relate well, if students lack intrapersonal skills, he or she wouldn't do well academically. What are the kinds of soft skills? In this course, as we proceed further, we'll be looking at leadership, we'll be looking at communication skills, we'll be looking at critical thinking skills, we'll be looking at positive attitude. We will be looking at a work ethic. We'll be looking at manners and conduct to help students boost their manners and conduct. We're looking at mental health. We're looking at multiple intelligence. And under all these, uh, all these kinds of soft skills, we're looking at the others, which are even more than this. As we conclude tonight, there's a professor whose name is a Professor Undubizi Ekikwe. He's a founder of Tekidia Institute. 
this professor said that companies do not hire you just because you make good grades in school. He said you are hired because you have demonstrated attributes which resulted in good outcome, which is good. The father said that to get good grades, you manage time well, set goals, and accomplish them. Simply, if you can apply those attributes in job, the outcome should be good. The father said, understand the process used for good grades are more important. He said, understand that the process, the processes used for good grades are more important than the grades. Yes, most attributes to success are universal, while grades are not. Just staying on course with those attributes which are soft skills makes the future predictable, even when the grades become irrelevant. And I said, even though you get somewhere with hard skills, soft skills will get you anywhere. And then the discussion and activity that we'll be having this evening is centered about, around the story of the young man before us, whose name is Sylvester Romani. A 12 year old teen student who attended a well recognized school in Lagos and he died as a result of violent beat up by school bullies. Now, we'll be discussing within the next uh, 10 15 minutes how do you think soft skills could have helped Sylvester live? If you want to talk, kindly uh, indicate. Does anybody want to talk? We are in the discussion section now. Anybody? How do you think soft skills could have helped uh, semester leave? Now, because of our time, Soft key, one of the key soft skills here is confidence. We meant to understand that Sylvester asked that he asked to his mom to change his school. And his mom walked up to him and asked him, Sylvester, what would you like to change your school? He, he rather asked that his mom inform his dad to change his school. And when his mom asked, why does he want to change his school? He said, his mom shouldn't worry that he would keep going to school. But the point here is that Sylvester only needed confidence to walk up to his mom and explain what he was going through. And he could have been alive. We can fought the school, we can fought the environment, we can fought the students who actually poison him possibly, according to what we read online. We can fault the parents who couldn't, you know, exact more emotional intelligence to see that the uh, Sylvester is not in a good emotional state and, you know, investigate more what could have gone wrong. But we need to understand that we are the most important person in our life. If a student is sick, until the student is ready to open up what is wrong, such students may lose his or her life. A 12 year old boy is not a child. So that's why soft skills like intelligence, like critical thinking, See, I could have thought, what do I have to lose if I open up to my mom or to my dad? What do I have to lose? He could have done a cost-benefit analysis to ask, if I tell mom now, and with all the facts that are obvious, that there is a change in attitude, there's possibly a change in physical structure, bodily structure of, the, of this young child. Mom and dad could have understood that, yes, this is a serious case. He has been beaten, he has been locked up before, but yet he never opened up. So confidence, critical thinking, 
we could have done a cost benefit analysis that if I open up to mom or to dad, there's I can see that I would be alive. There's I can see that I would have my school change. There's I can see that this young student would be arrested or would be reported to the appropriate authority. So that is what I think soft skills, how soft skills could have helped Tivest and me today. So you can forward your contribution to the WhatsApp platform to let us know how you think soft skill would help students like Sylvester to live if he answers things. Thank you very much for joining. Yeah. And the question and answer section. I don't know if anybody wants to ask or answer question. Does anybody want to ask any question? Anybody? Anybody? Does anybody, Does anybody want to ask a question? Okay, okay. Mr. Mr. Omolodu, you have any you have any questions, sir? Yeah, good evening. Good evening, sir. Yeah, uh, thank you for the lecture okay, sir. or the talk. Welcome, sir. I just, want, I just want to ask if uh, we can have access to the recording of uh, the talk because I joined quite a bit. Uh, okay. okay. If you can click on our platform, we will be sent to the WhatsApp group. I hope you are on the WhatsApp group, sir. I am. Yes, sir. You, you, you will get the link there. Uh, hopefully tomorrow morning, latest tomorrow morning, sir. All right, sir. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you very much. Is there any other question before we round up the class tonight? The absence of any question, I want to say thank you for joining. Tomorrow evening is the second uh, lecture day. We will be talking about communication skills. Uh, it's going to be much more interesting. I want to say thank you very much and uh, have a splendid night rest. Thank you. <laughs>